Hello, good morning, buenos dias. Right now I am currently in my car and I'm going to be just browsing. I want to see what's going on at my local big box stores. Um, around this time of year, there is that transition between the seasonal, like the winter things going into the spring. And supposedly there's some great plants going on at these stores. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I find a rescue or two. Who knows? In my mind, I'm not going to be buying anything, but I want to show you what's here at my local stores and then maybe some of the things that I also purchased from here that might be helpful to you as well. So the first stop is the Home Depot. <laughs> My location always looks super rough. Look at this Birkin. <laughs> looks so sad. I have it as the Prismacolor Sun Red. So it's a hybrid. No wonder. It, it looks like the Rojo Congo and then a little bit of like a Prince of Orange. Like I never know exactly what it is. Okay, so Prismacolor Sun Red. Got it. There's tons of aglionemas around. I've been seeing them often. <gasps> oh, your ficus umbellata. It looks so sad. They just, they look so, they're so dusty. Bromeliad. Calathea. Mm. Okay. These are nice jades. These are very nice jades, actually. They're very plump. They look good. Are they 13? Okay. So I'm starting to see a lot more of the lemon lime philodendrons. Which is, this is a great little basket. Same with your philodendron brazils. Those are nice too. I just bought one, so I'm not, I'm not gonna get that. But look at my location. <laughs> it's so sad. There's not, like that is all that there was. I will say I do like their pots. Maybe. Um, I like that all of them are, are coming with drainage holes. And then this, you can actually pull off. I would recommend pulling off the saucer because then water sits under there. But these are nice. These are four bucks. You see, like something like this, where it doesn't pop off, you have a drainage hole, but it, there's nowhere for the water to come out of. So you'd have to tilt it every time, which if you have a plant in there, it's super messy. So I would, I, I stay away from pots like these. These are always really cute. I have this one, of course. It's a beefy one, it's so sweet. Pretty inexpensive. You have big terracotta ones too, which I like a lot. You have nursery pots also. So yeah, I'm not seeing much of anything. <laughs> so that was kind of a dud. So that's my local Home Depot. I feel like I've always come and I'm disappointed in this location, but I think I've only come here maybe twice and found a plant that I've actually been like, oh my gosh, I'm impressed. But yeah, it fails me again. Okay, my next location is at the Lowe's. You notice that when I go into these stores, I don't ever get a cart because if i don't have a cart then that means i won't buy anything or i won't put anything to fill that cart that's my method does it always work no it does not so drink stay hydrated friends okay let's go
already have a bird of paradise but that looks in really good condition that one and that one's a uh, 50% off so this is the clearance rack this is usually where I get my rescues if I do get one so it's $35.98 if it's 15 and up they do it at 50% sometimes if the plant is rough you can ask nicely and see if they will give you um, more of a discount but don't assume it's always the calatheas <sighs> dare i i don't i try to rescue plants that i also know that i will enjoy because i'm, I'm more prone to wanting to keep them alive if i enjoy them and i just <sighs> i don't enjoy it i know i know <laughs> it's rough Something that has more green, like something like the Cebu would have been really nice to rescue. Your peace lily, a lot of times you know it's just going to need a lot of water and a lot of cleanup. More than likely she'll bounce back very nicely. These peperomias are so nice. They're very delicate though. So they will fall. I was gonna say they will fall. You already got some droppings there. The bananas are great. Ooh, that's a really nice and healthy banana, actually. String of bananas. This would be a really pretty terrarium plant. These pots are great. These are some of my favorite pots. Um, I have the small, the medium, and the large. And they do have drainage holes and they have some good weight so it's a good terracotta pot i'm going to take you over to where i get my big pots when i need them so i love these these bowls are great for succulent gardens something like this that are shallow too any for like string of things these little pots, I love those. Yeah, this is where I get my big, big pots. And they all have the punchable holes. You just take your screwdriver and you punch your hole through it. But you can also, um, I use a spade bit to make additional holes. And they're fairly inexpensive. Uh, size, what is the size? This is 15.2 and it is 19.89. What's funny is that I just worked up the courage to be able to do this in film because I'm usually hiding. Like I'm super shy when it comes to filming out in public. I can't get over it. I've been filming myself and doing this for so long that in the comfort of my home, like it's easy. But out in public, I'm a mess. I'm like ducking and diving and people are watching. It just, it's insanity. So, um, yeah, I finally worked up the courage to, to film some things and find some things. And nothing. It's crickets out there. <laughs> so, I'm going to try this last place. Uh, we are at the local Walmart. There is two in my town. And the one that I went to... A couple days ago, oh my gosh, it was rough. The plants were just atrocious. <laughs> oh, I walked in there like, dun, 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 and I left out of there like, <gasps> so <laughs> I have been looking for these little ceramic $3 boots and I cannot find them. So I'm hoping that this new or that this location has them. So we'll see. I do enjoy their pots and I enjoy their accessories. I think they're decently priced. Um, I love this bowl. This is a bowl. I love this pot. This is one of my favorite pots. I have them in multiple colors and they come in the green they have the white and they have the smaller white and they all do have a drainage hole. So those are nice. So say what you say about the plants, but their accessories are good. I will give them that. This is a great cactus if you don't want a spiky guy right off the bat. As it grows, it does grow spikes though. So don't think that just because it's called a cuddly cactus, is um, it's going to stay that way forever. So, But these are nice and hardy ones. I changed the 
the potting soil though to something um, grittier. These look a lot healthier than my other Walmart location. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice one. These condapses are really nice. Ooh, I haven't seen this here. The Caprea. <gasps> wow, are you kidding me? Hold on. Please hold. Is this the Maharani? It looks a little off. Wow. That's beautiful. I do have them already. But those are great. Your black velvet. What's it say, Ninja? Uh, okay. That's a good find. Nice Monstera. Okay, does it actually, I was gonna say, please don't tell me this is all that it says on the tag. I, come on, assorted foliage. No, it has Monstera Swiss cheese. Uh, okay, Monstera Deliciosa. Great ones. That is a big, Silver dragon. Wow. Um, so same with their pots here. Great deal for a pot this size. This is 20 bucks. They look heavy, but they're actually not. princess could you believe these used to be over a hundred dollars i got a tiny tiny cutting years ago for 80 and now they're just what 20 bucks So I usually come on Thursdays. Um, when I get a chance, I come and I take myself on a little lunch date. And they have their their they have their five dollar sushis here. So I usually get a sushi and a soup. But their soup is actually um, today it's chili, and then they have a broccoli cheese, which is not my favorite. So I just got two sushis, and then I get a little mochi ice cream. So have a little lunch but yeah that was that was kind of that was kind of disappointing but I think I'm just gonna end with uh, walking around my local nursery they get their shipments in on Thursday <laughs> so I'd like to see what they have and if anything it just calms me down I'm just taking a walk around I don't usually buy much it's not always about buying the plant it's about looking at them like I don't need every plant to live in my house but I want to go visit and say hi, you know. <laughs> that, that is huge. This is one of my favorite tents of areas, the moonshine. And I'm back home and I always take that as a sign of, okay, focus on your own plants. No worries, it is okay. You have more than enough plants for you to manage here at home. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye.